Access Water. I'm your host, Kate Peabody. Today we're heading to Tampa, Florida to speak with Wendy Nero, Senior Client Service Manager and Community Outreach Lead on the Tampa UCAP program. Thank you for joining us today, Wendy. What's been going on in Tampa? CH2O Hill has been the program manager in the city of Tampa on a five-year, $250 million program called UCAP, which stands for Utility Capital Improvement Projects. And one of those projects was a large force main that we were installing in a, in a neighborhood in East Tampa, and it coincidentally went right near the Engineering Magnet School. And we had been in town disrupting neighborhoods and families for months and months and months, and so we started thinking, what can we do to better partner with the neighborhood and work with the school. And so from that, we created what's called LINES, which stands for Lasting Innovation Needs Engineering Students. There were several employees involved, um, varying from we had a college intern who was working with us at the time, several of our project managers from the UCAP team, a construction manager from the UCAP team, our chief estimator. Um, and what these folks did was serve as mentors to the engineering students who were um, participating in the Lions project as part of their senior class project. Because it's a magnet school, they began in their engineering program in ninth grade. And so by the time they got to their senior year, they had a lot of practical knowledge, and this was their second semester class project. And so literally, we commandeered the class and, and provided a real life experience for the entire senior class. Uh, the second year we did the program, there were 19 students. So they were broken into teams of four or five students. Each one was assigned a mentor. And so what we did was took a real world problem, we gave them the design sheets that were actually part of the design for the 12th Street Force Main. They had to do quantity takeoffs, they had to prepare an estimate of what it would cost to build this, they had to create a company that they had officers and roles and responsibilities, they made a project schedule, they had to contemplate uh, community needs. So they took it from concept to construction just like we would have to do in, in the real world as a consulting engineering firm. Not only did CHO Hill benefit in the city, um, certainly the students did and, and the school board and how they approached their magnet programs and all their STEM projects. Uh, specifically for ch 2 Hill, I think it gave us a great appreciation for the talents that these kids have and when pushed, they can accomplish amazing things that I wouldn't have thought they could do when we started the project. Uh, also, the, the school board nominated ch 2 Hill as business partner of the year. I think for the city of Tampa, um, we completed the job in a very good fashion and they saw that we made a significant investment to leave the community better off, not only from an infrastructure standpoint, but by the fact that we reached out to the community, we engaged the community. It sounds like it was a fantastic experience for all involved, Wendy. Thank you for sharing the UCAP line story with us and showing us how important and fun applied learning experiences are for students seeking a STEM education and how valuable community outreach truly can be. That's all for today. Until next time, this is Kate Peabody signing off asking, what's your story?